right, so we're heading back to Mexico. I don't even know how many times I've been down this season from October, November, December, January, February, March, April. I've made multiple trips each month, uh, but it's May, it's the beginning of May, and we're heading to a ranch today to go hunt some Gould's turkeys. And we thought what better way to bring Gould's turkey hunting to the Mad Hunt's arsenal of awesome hunting down in Mexico than to go do a trip ourselves. So we're done at kilometer 21. We got about two and a half hours now to Hermosillo and we should be on our way to some Gould's turkey hunting adventures this weekend. It's a long, long drive on the dirt, but we're here. My butt hurts. I didn't think I was ever gonna make that drive again, but here we are. That's crazy, he found out you, we didn't, necessarily know the exact ranch that we we're coming to before we came down here. I've never been to this ranch, but what did you find out on the way down here? This is a ranch that I hunted about 15 years ago with a couple of buddies of mine. A uh, lot of deer here, not real high scoring deer, 90 to 100 inches is kind of what uh, we saw, but a lot of deer, 75 to 100 deer a day we would see. Um, it's a cool ranch and then there's a ton of javelina as well or there was back then we'll see what's changed and what's going on for this year it's a beautiful view from the front porch okay, so we've got a little unusual situation here we're working our way into our setup for our first evening here in sonora mexico on our gould's turkey hunt and there's already turkeys there four or five of them that we could see anyway. So we're working our way around the ridge. See if we can't get above them and in front of them. Maybe we can set up and get a shot, call something. We'll see. Five forty. Five forty. Yeah. Very early. Alright. I'm pretty quiet. Never talk.
Level one, congrats. If you didn't, if you missed again, that sucks. <laughs> Congratulations, man. There you go. Yeah, you got a nice tone. There you go. Yeah. Check that out. Yeah. Good. That is a Gould's turkey, everybody. We're down here in Sonora, Mexico. It's our second day of the hunt. And that is a beautiful Gould's turkey. Big Tom came in full strut, had a couple of two or three hens with him, and came and beat up our decoy a little bit but got a nice beard. Look how pretty that is. Nice long beard. We got another one goblin over here. Let's see if we can see it. That turkey that we're showing you, that tom right now, sounded like he was maybe 200 yards away, but he's probably 800 yards away, 600 yards anyway. Yeah. Just a yeah. little spot right there. Yep. He sounded close. Yeah, but yeah, because very loud, very quiet, you feel like it. they are very, very close. This is just the wing tips that he's dragging on the ground right before he beat up our decoy. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Came in full strut. Just beautiful, beautiful animals. Super happy to be able to take this. I'm fortunate to be able to come out here and hunt Mexico. Had a great trip. Look at the spurs on this guy. You know, those are probably, probably an inch. I'm not really that into the spurs, but it could definitely inflict some damage. This is, this is what Mad Hunts does. We've got some great opportunities down here in Mexico for these Gould's turkeys. If you're looking for a Royal Turkey Slam and you need a Gould's to fill that slam, we've got affordable turkey hunts down here to get your Gould's. It's a great time. Nearly everybody shoots their turkey. It's great weather. It's cool in the morning. It's warm in the afternoon. Uh, there's different ways that we can go about hunting them. Uh, there's something here for everybody. Uh, but we'd love to bring you down to Mexico and get you a Gould's turkey. All right, so we're walking out to clean up some of our blinds and to get some of our gear together. We're on our way out. Uh, it's the last day, and we're trying to just collect everything so we're ready to go tomorrow. And just spotted a shed right over here. Let's go check it out. There it is. 80 inch three point, no eye guard, well busted eye guard. Busted G3, just pretty typical of the type of sheds that we've found out here on this trip. But uh, one more shed to throw into the collection. 